I, I, I used to feel so devastated What is the deal? Beautiful people, it's your boy Ramon. Welcome back to another review. This time we're in the building with the Jordan 1 Royals uh, 2017 edition. These just came back out. Uh, we recently retroed. So you guys know Tawan is the sneaker head here on the channel and within the LD network. But every now and then there's a pair of, uh, of I would say Jordans or Nikes that are just super dope I can't resist and this is definitely this is definitely one of those pairs so what we're looking at here is this is actually an OG colorway and uh, it's been retro I think twice before uh, the original pair I, I think was uh, in 1985 I believe somewhere around there so these this sneaker goes way back to uh, I guess you know my birthday was in uh, 1983 so this sneaker has been around uh, since my inception my conception so yeah I I do think there's something still very dope about about the the Jordan ones and I never used to be a fan but you know as, as coming into a, the appreciation of sneakers recently uh, and really paying attention to the design language uh, and the materials and whatnot uh, I find that Jordan 1 is becoming, quickly becoming one of my or my favorite pair of Jordan uh, when you talk about silhouettes. And the, the dope thing about it is it's it's a high top shoe and I love high tops. Most of my sneakers are high tops. Uh, high tops are die. That's one of my mantras. So yeah, this this thing's super dope. So the, I guess the, the, the main pull to the sneaker besides the OG colorway is the fact that the Royal that that varsity royal blue or royale blue that they're using here is a it's a tumble leather so it's very soft to the touch and uh you see the tumble leather on uh the toe cap you see it on uh the back coming around the sides and of course on the nike swoosh and uh at the top at the top by the uh, the top of the high top shoe there and also there's a bit of it in the tongue uh, not so much on anything relevant, but just the Nike Air. It's it's black and blue, so that's that's kind of cool. But yeah, there's there's a lot about this shoe to like. Uh, I when it was first released, uh, well, the first pair I actually paid attention to was the the band, and I liked those. And then there were the Chicago's I liked, and I, I didn't get it my hands on any of those. Uh, the shattered backboards wasn't really a colorway that, that was interesting to me. But this for sure, this Royal, this is definitely uh, the winner to me. Uh, I really, I really, really like this design. I really like the colorway. And then of course you've got the, you've got the sole, the midsole, which is that really, really bright white. And I, I feel like that gives it the pop that it needs. And then again, there's that Varsity Royal blue on the bottom of the sole. So yeah, I think it's a well thought out shoe. Uh, it's interesting that, uh, to me, personally speaking, Nike's heavy hitters are coming from shoes that are way back from the 80s. I don't know what that says about them as a brand, but uh, I mean, this is definitely one of the shoes I couldn't resist. And, and of course, it comes with these uh, Royal Blue, uh, these Varsity Royal Blue laces that you can swap if you want. Uh, I probably need to check out some videos on the YouTube for some dope lace swap ideas for this guy. But yeah, here you go. There's the Joy, uh, the Jordan Air Jordan ones, Royale, and I like it. I really do like them. But you guys know the deal. If you like the video, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out the description below because there are links to all of our other channels, being uh, a lot of gadget stuff, technology stuff. We also do. Uh, accessories, men's accessories, women's accessories, and of course, there is the photography channel. So, my name is Ramon. Thanks for stopping by. I'm out of here. Peace. If I had to describe lifestyles to find, I would say it is a dream come true uh, to have a platform where we can talk about the things that we love and we can share with people who also love the things we love the way we love. and just have conversations that matter and go back and forth and grow as a community it's it's been a pleasure it's been a dream and, and i just want to thank everyone that's involved for rocking out with us